This playthrough is rated M for Mature. Are you a man about to enter Athens, about to do a deed that the gods have told you to defeat one of their own, with maybe little to no help, but it's all on you? Well, you're going to need a bit of a pick-me-up. And you know what they say, three is better than two, as they say. You've collected enough orbs to power up your weapon. Yeah, your weapon indeed. Greetings and salutations, viewers. While I'm back here with another episode of God of War. In the last episode, we went to the GNC, and uh, well, we saw Kratos about to end his life, but we were trying to lead up to that point, which was three weeks ago. Now we're in Athens, and we've been tasked to defeat the God of War himself, Ares. Can we do it? Well, we had a little fun there, and even if you don't care for the material that is at stake, viewers, you know you do it for the orbs. Well, like all things. Now time to have a Chad moment. Stay, Kratos. Just a bit longer. We've reached Athens. Get your things and get out. Ooh, cold. But you can tell during the cutscene in the previous episode that, uh, that, um, uh, uh though, th though he sleeps with women, it doesn't satisfy him as, as it should. It's only enough to, like, basically clean out your pipes, as it were. But anyway, let's head on to, uh, further on into this place. Oh yeah, in the last episode I could have uh, been destroying like little bags and stuff around to get um, more orbs because depending on how things go, you might not be able to max out all your stuff by the end of the game. So keep that in mind. So Anyway, since it says we've got enough orbs to power it up, let's go and power up the Blades of Chaos. You could do Poseidon's Rage as well, which I will eventually, but I always like beefing up my main weapon first. So Just power it up with, I guess, red orbs, although I'd almost say blood. But anyway, with the new Blades of Chaos becomes, as well as power, with great power comes great responsibility, but new abilities. As you can see, we can press L1 and X to get uh, certain abilities, as well as rushing abilities and stuff like that. And he's got a new active ability called the Rage of the Gods. When that meter, that um, Spartan meter fills up, we can activate it to go into Rage mode, so. Let the Rage of the Gods drive your blades, Kratos. Yeah, so. But uh, anyway. Uh, technically, I don't need to worry about magic, but I'll fill myself up anyway, because the game didn't decide to fill me up in between chapters. You'd think it'd automatically do that, but hey. Alright, time to be time to be badass. The Gate of Athens. Destroy Ares. And the gods will forgive you your past. Hmm. What did Kratos do to be forgiven for? Hmm. Perhaps we'll find that out on our journey. Who knows? I don't think there's anything else to really get around here. Nope. Okay. Let's head on to Athens itself and figure out how to defeat the god of war. This is going to be a long journey. Actually, it's not going to be that long. The game's about, like, maybe ten hours or some of that. Oh, I guess I could be showing off my new abilities, too, so... Yeah, see, that's one of the abilities is where you can purposely fling people up. Whoops. There we go. As you can see there, and then we can swing attack him if you don't want to do the... Um... Yeah, and see, the new ability, yeah, he's got a lot of cool new abilities if you power it up. See, he swings his weapon around and stuff like that. Oh, we've also got um, certain uh, kills if you press a circle and near certain enemies. God, these guys are wrecking me. Yeah, these uh, basic dudes are really annoying. I know the whole idea is to learn how to block, and yes, I know. Oh, and yeah, in this game you want to basically fight anything you can, so make sure to kill anything and don't run past stuff, because one, you're going to need the orbs, and two, you know, you're going to uh, um, going to be hurt if you miss out on stuff, so. I don't remember if there's anything. Like around here. I thought there was. Hmm. I guess not. I know somewhere there's some, like, treasures you can find if you, uh, swim through this thing, but I could be wrong. 
Or maybe Kratos just wanted to take a dip. I don't know. And cool himself off after that hot and heavy session earlier. You know, with those uh, ladies of the evening, as it were. But yeah, for the first, uh, actually, after this game, they, they became that mini game became an occurrence where you have uh, some fun times before the game begins. Although not, I'm, I'm trying to remember, there's some games that's not right at the very beginning. Sometimes you have to do something um, specific to uh, get that. No, nothing there. I thought this was the behind there. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a, I'll admit I'm a little rusty in this game to tell you the truth. Yeah, I just gotta get used to. Even though I did really well against the um, Hydra, luckily you can pretty much block anywhere. This isn't like the one of those games where uh, um, you had to block from a specific uh, direction. You know what I mean? There we go. Yeah, you guys are vicious, that's for sure. Now let's head on towards Athens. Hmm. Yeah, always keep a lookout, folks, for uh, enemies, orbs, things to destroy for more orbs, uh, secrets for boosting up your power V or magic or the, the Gorgon's Eye or the other one, which we'll find eventually. So oh, that takes us up. Let's see what happens if we go through here. Oh, it just dumps us in here. I wonder if you can... Nope, I guess not. I was wondering if you could actually, like, uh, just go under there or something like that, so... Uh-oh, we've got more enemies. Yeah, at least uh, isolating that makes it a little bit easier to fight, I guess. And sometimes when you're trying to grab them, it grabs the wrong one, because, yeah, some enemies you can't really grab real easily or not. So. Oof. Oh, where'd the other one go? Hmm. Alright, well, anyway. Maybe if we go in here, we get a Phoenix Feather. Yeah, this is what we use to raise our magic, the first one of its kind. And because of all that work to get in there, they give us a free HP thing, so very nice. Thank you kindly. Nope. I actually didn't mean to jump. I meant to jump on top of the boxes, but okay. Let's try that again. There we go. Actually, I think all it does is just allows you to climb up over, so you could do either or, I guess. So, never mind. Yeah, I think this game takes, like, I think this game's about 10 hours long. It might be less if you actually know what you're doing. So, which for me, it'll probably take 10 plus hours, because that's just how it is. Not more HP. I'll hold on to that just in case. Run! Run! The beasts have taken Athens! Look out! No! No! Stay away from me! Now it's like we got new enemies to fight. The uh, not quite minotaurs per se, but something like that anyway. Ah, whoops, wrong button. There we go. Oh come on, let me no, no, let me grab him. Okay, it's not letting me grab him for some reason. Okay, that's a weird. It's supposed to let me grab him. Oops. Yeah, I don't know why it wouldn't let me grab him for some reason. Hmm. Ow. <laughs> yeah, I'm not doing very well against these guys, that's for sure. Yeah, this game is, uh, I wouldn't say it's easy, actually. There you go. Oh. Yeah, I, let me do that to him, so I don't know. Yeah, I don't know why it wouldn't let me do it to that other guy, so. 
There we go. Got some health for that too, so. I don't know why it wouldn't let me do it to that guy that went. Maybe it was like a glitch or something like that. And then, like, it reset him from past that. But. And obviously, this introduces some of the cinematic kills, you know, to kill enemies a lot faster. So. Yeah, luckily, we get a. I mean, I probably should have used magic on those guys. I probably would have made it a little bit easier. One, because there's a magic chest right there. But. Oh, well. I'll get better at figuring it out. One, I'll have more power by this point. At that point. And two. I'll have kind of mastered the controls by then, but it'll take me a while. It always does. So, it's like we got a health chest over there. Dude, the reinforcements arrive. Ares has brought these beasts to Athens. Without help, the city will fall. The gates destroyed. You'll have to find another way. <laughs> Was one of those uh, knights vo uh, voiced by Rob Paulson? <laughs> Maybe. Uh oh, got a new enemy here. A giant. Something like that, anyway. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> trying to hit me, are we? Yeah, he looks like he's got like a weird ball thing on his hand. Ow. Yeah, I gotta remember this. Uh... Oh, whoops. Gotta, gotta remember that. Uh... I can't just press circle on all of them, so. Took out his eye. That's like a type of cyclops or something like that. So. Even though it's not a cyclops per se. I think I could block that one. Oh, nice. Mainly because I uh, uh, hit him pretty frequently. I was able to take him out, and I've upgraded the blades of chaos, so that makes it a lot easier. This is why I, I, I you like doing the main blade first, so instead of uh, the magic or whatever. Of course, I don't have to worry too much. There is a health uh, chest around here somewhere, so. And yes, we do have to do this every time we fight an enemy like this. This is probably one of the things that at first is pretty cool, but after a certain point gets a bit redundant and you're like, oh. But luckily the game flows pretty smoothly that it doesn't become a problem for quite a while, at least not to me anyway, so. And I mean, later entries in the series still do this too. Oh yeah, we come across our first uh, random chest, which changes depending on what you want, if you need magic or health, so. You just have to open it up at the, uh, basically start opening it with the one color you want, so. If you don't want, uh, you know, health or whatever, then yeah, there's a chest in there for an item. Let's see, we can't go through this way because of what happened. Through the gate, you see a bridge that leads to Athens, but the gate has been damaged on repair. It will never function. It will never be functional again. There must be another way to get around onto the bridge. But yeah, we had to go the way we were going, but see, I think the chest down here was just a health chest. I think. Yep. How is my health actually? Do I need that? No. Okay, let's continue on. I was checking to see if there were any other chests. I don't remember where every single upgrade is. I'll tr like I said, I'll try to find most of them if I can. But if I miss one, I'm not going to... If I was playing on hard mode or god mode or whatever, then yeah, I would try to find every single like chest because you kind of need it for those modes. But normal mode, you can afford to miss a couple, and it won't hurt you too badly in the grand scheme of things. So, you know, Changing our camera angle, are we? Trying to do some... Uh, Resident Evil on us. Uh oh. Ah. Okay. I was hoping that thing would fall on top of me. I don't know if it actually can or not, but. Yeah, destroy those chests to uh, make make jumping ways to get there. So, all right. Let's see if there's anything else I can. Nope. Okay. Mainly had to do that because I couldn't reach this thing before. So. All right. What's in here? More orbs, excellent. Nah, I couldn't get up there. Let me see if I can try it again from this angle. 
There we go. Alright, got ourselves a magic chest. We'll hold on to that. Anyway, here we get another Gorgon's Eye. Alright. Yeah, just kind of keep a keep abreast of your surroundings and just, you know, kind of keep keep an eye out for those, like, loose places. Uh, I think, oh, there's a red orbs there. I know, I know. I should probably not try to get every single one because sometimes I actually forget to grab, like, the little stuff that's, like, from destructible environments because I'm not paying attention. I'm only paying attention to the enemy, so it kind of gets uh, lost on me sometimes. Shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. Shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. Shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. Yeah, Kratos, even Kratos can't just bash his way through everything. Whoa! I hate when that happens sometimes. It'll, like, auto-jump you or something like that. Like, too far. Oh, come on. There we go. I don't think there's anything... Let's see. I I guess just this. Alright. Anyway, more red orbs. Awesome. Yeah, not every chest is a secret, like, collectible, but... Another power of the gods. So soon. All right. All right. Just uh, let's grab everything before we do that, though. I need all the red orbs. All of them are mine. I want to power up. Get more awesomer. Okay. Now, whose power I'll get next? Aphrodite. Kratos, the gods are pleased with your progress, but your current skills will not be enough to defeat the minions of Ares. I offer you the power to freeze your enemies where they stand, but you must earn such a gift. of the Gorgons. Bring me her head, Kratos, and I will give you the ability to wield its power. Ah, one of the most annoying enemies in the game, the Medusa. Yes, I hate these things. I mean, not that they're super difficult, I just hate it because of the whole stoning you thing. They'll try to, if you, if they, um, highlight you with that beam for too long, then they uh, will eventually stone you, which basically what it means is it doesn't insta-kill you or anything like that. It just uh, it just uh, takes you out for a few seconds while a... Um, yeah, I find this I find this light enemy really annoying. Mainly just because I'm really bad about like countering her. That's all. Sometimes it takes me a hot minute to... Uh, actually, I could probably just... Blaster, but uh oh. Yeah, mainly what you have to do is just either get out of a range or keep uh or keep dodging with uh, or evading. Because if you block, you'll just eventually um. Uh oh. If you just block there, you'll eventually get turned to stone. And what you do is you use like a mini game to uh um uh get get yourself out of the uh the the stone status or whatever you want to call it. Ah. I know when she's gonna hit me, I just Oh, nope. Nope. Oh come on. Yes. Yeah, they get easier, they really do. It's just at the beginning. And usually you can tell when uh, Kratos is getting um Rotate the left analog stick to match the pa display pattern above Medusa's head. Yeah, we're gonna rip her head off. Ah, what? I thought I did it right. Okay, fine. Do it again. You've required Medusa's gaze, which is the uh, spell that Aphrodite will give us. Freeze and destroy them all with Medusa's gaze, and the power of the Gorgon will be yours. This is a really useful ability, by the way. Hold down the L2 button to aim Medusa's gaze while pressing square to fire. Freeze and smash all Minotaurs in progress. And if you can kill him fast enough, yeah, you can, uh... 
Oh, come on. What, really? It wasn't freezing for some reason. There we go. Even, okay, I was about to say, why were they still spawning? You're supposed to stop at a point, so. Let me wait for you to. I don't know. Now, why does uh, Aphrodite give us the ability to like do the Medusa gaze? I don't know, but okay. But yeah, Medusas are supposed to be unique. There's there's only supposed to be one because of her being cursed by the gods. Um, and, and like most Greek mythology stories, it's because the gods are selfish and petty. Yeah. I mean, that's the one thing about the Greek gods. They're kind of assholes, actually. <laughs> Well, actually, a lot of stories have gods and assholes, but Greek gods specifically are assholes. And they, uh, yeah, usually they do stuff to humanity because they're jealous of, uh, like, uh, kind of like, you know, Helen of Troy and all this other stuff. You know, it's always something that 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 the the hu the regular person didn't do. It's just the gods say, "Hey, that person's too beautiful or too smart or." Or, I want to sleep with this one girl, so I'm going to do something to this person, so to mess them up, I'm like, what is wrong with you? So, but they're entertaining to, to read, you know, and uh, listen to, so. All right, what do we got here? Mini puzzle? Ah, got a safe spot. Ooh, do we need to break our way through this? Of course we do. Okay, let's go ahead and save. Save my progress, for Kratos demands it. Okay, so we don't need that right now. Okay, camp. Oh, what does it say? The door is reinforced. You cannot destroy it. There must be another way to break it down. I can't destroy it. You're telling Kratos he can't destroy everything? Uh, huh. You don't know Kratos like I do, my friend. What is the point? Oh, that takes me all the way back. Ah, oh, no. I was wondering if I could jump over it for some reason, but, uh, nuts. <laughs> well, that was dumb. Oh boy. Well, luckily, luckily most of the progress of you slowing down in this game is from enemy encounters. That's what takes the longest. Like, uh, yeah, you'd be surprised how many encounters in this game take a while to go through. Like, a, a lot of them aren't just, like, whack them a few times they're dead. I mean, near the end of the game, there are a few instances of certain enemy encounters that aren't, um, too bad. What? Oh! The game? Yeah, I, I knew that was going to happen to me at one point where I'm trying to just barely jump off and yet the game just like flings me across the uh, the thing and I miss the block, so. I right, try it again without jumping over the... That's why I was trying to not like jump too crazy. There we go. Just so I wouldn't like get flung over the place. Alright, try it again without jumping over that thing, so. Good to know I can go back that way if I need to. Actually, I think there's supposed to be a reason for me to be able to jump off that thing, if I recall, but... Like, to either get a chest or something, but... Well, anyway, we'll hold off on that for a second, so... Alright, let me go ahead and flip it to speech. Actually, what does that... Oh, that, well, I know what that one does. Oh, sorry, let me hit that again. I didn't want to. I actually wanted to shoot it where it was at at the time. Okay. Let's shoot this one. Whoops. Whoa, that was weird. Bam. Sweet. And we get infinite ballista bolts there. All right, let's open this thing up. And inside is another phoenix feather. And we'll get more magic power when we do that, so. All right, let's flip this thing again. All right, let's blast this door down. Actually, I wonder if you can, uh, if it all can only go to the two directions. Oh, I can go different directions. All right. Let's see what uh, if this does anything for me. There we go. 
Now the only problem is making that jump in the first place. I mean, I'll try it. Let me see. Can I flip that one more time just to see if I can shoot it the other direction? I don't think there's anything in that direction, but I'm curious. Oh, does it just do the two? I guess where you could get it to point the towards us. Nope, okay. Just curious. All right, let's see if we can make that jump. If not, I'll uh, cut to when I get back here. Nope. Dang it. All right. I'm trying to remember how you're supposed to do that. I think Actually, I think I need to come back this way later with something that helps me with that. So let me uh, cut it really quick. Okay, we're back. Uh, I forgot that you have to go a little bit further to uh, get those uh, chests. So you can't jump from there. I mean, it's maybe possible if you glitch it, but I'm not that good at that stuff if that is the case. Maybe let's go down this way first. Where are you? There you are. Oh, wow. There we go. Take that. That's what you get for annoying me. Anyway, yeah, we, we get that one chest we couldn't get to before behind that. Uh... Great. And if we do that, we get another Gorgon's Eye. All right. We're about to get another one health up not too far off from now excellent all right back up the way we came slowly but surely we go up it ain't the ladder to Metal Gear Solid 3 but most things aren't so all right and we can't go through that door yet so don't worry about it the four enemies Yeah, not all of my attack, uh, light blocks can be, you know, uh, countered. Uh, though there is something later on that will take advantage of that, but it'll be a while till we get that, so. Can't get everything in the first go around, you know. Gotta, gotta play the waiting game. Right, anything else? Okay. Oh, let's climb the ladder, even though, wait a minute. No, yeah, it's supposed to. Basically, what that's supposed to be is it's supposed to represent, hey, this is where you need to climb. So, all right, now let's drop down here. Let's see anything else there? Nope. Okay, so let's uh, make that jump. Ah! All right, then grab these two items. Not quite a few red gems. How are we doing on XP, by the way? Ooh, we've almost got a chance to level up again. I mean, could level up the other ones. I usually tend to like, like I said, I like upgrading the Blades of Chaos first before anything else, so. All right, I'll cut to when I get back to uh, that area again. All right, we're back. Didn't take very long, but I thought it'd be pointless to show that again and again and again and again, so. We got, you got better things to do while you're watching Kratos beat the crap out of everything, you know what I mean? Position yourself next to the edge of the wall to, and press X to jump so we can do crazy jump things like this. Ooh. I'm surprised uh, Kratos has enough upper arm strength for this. Yeah, you fall. <laughs> bye bye. He's left on a stick for a wall ground. Yeah, we already know about that. I mean, all we have to do is just kind of mess around with the controls, you know. Just saying. Uh, get off me. Try to take me with him. Yeah, what's the what's the Klingon from uh, Star Trek Three? I have had enough of you. Although I do want to try and kill these guys legit because one, you get a little extra orbs if you actually uh, um, do combos and stuff like that. So. But of course, I guess it's not, not as important if there's only like only a couple of them there. So, because you really only get the red extra orbs for comboing if you get above, above ten. So, Let's see if we can get a nice group here. Yeah, see, nice. 
If you don't get it, it's not a big deal. So. Alright, make sure not to fill it Die already. Jeez. Alright, let's push this guy over. But seriously, if you're this strong, why do you need to, like, why can't you just bust open certain, like, grates and stuff like that, you know what I mean? So, alright. Just checking something. Okay. Just making sure I wasn't missing anything. I mean, I probably am missing something, but, you know. Oops. A little uh, mini shortcut. Yeah, unfortunately, you can't really go back the way you came, but, oh well. Yeah, now the, do you like the decor? Uh-oh. Yeah, Gorgons again. Oh, boy. At least they actually do get easier. The first one is actually a bit of a pain because she's a mini-boss, so... I don't really want to show off what happens if you get hit by, by the uh, um, the thing, because you can't, you can't insta-die if you... Uh, if, uh... There we go. So you have to be careful. Decavity Medusas will always yield magic orbs, so... Uh, whoops. I did too much damage there. <laughs> oh well. Because, yeah, you can always kill enemies just as is. You don't have to do the whole finish them off with that. Um, let me hold off on that just in case there's... I'm trying to remember if there's any other encounters, but... Uh oh, more Minotaurs. I don't know why I like doing that ab that ability where you where you just the spin it around and everything. Oops, I was trying to uh, dodge or whatever, but um, okay, dude. There we go. Yeah, I don't know why sometimes it just won't let me do this to the mentors. And I kind of do prefer doing the QTE to kill them, just because you know. If you don't do the QTA, then it takes a bit more work to finish them off. Uh -oh. uh. Come on down if you want to look at me, babe. Oof. Yeah, well, there is a... Actually, I don't have to worry too much. Oh, come on. I'm not trying to grab you. I'm trying to grab this guy. There we go. Yeah, sometimes, for whatever reason, the game will try to... Uh, Grab the wrong person, and then, you know. And yeah, luckily you can't uh, be um, uh, stoned while you're, um, you know, trying to do that. Oh, well, you can't be stoned if that happens, though. I hate you guys. You're so annoying. Especially when certain type of enemy types. There we go. Oh, dang it. I messed up. It's because they flipped it on me, so. There we go. Yeah, get out of here, lady. I don't like the way you look at me. Yeah, I don't know why, so... Oh, well. No, he's complaining about it, so... And by the way, with the Rage of the Gods, I always save those for very special occasions. Yeah, I could probably use it and probably get it filled up by the time we actually need it, but it's just one of those cases I just pre rather prefer having it ready to go at a moment's notice than, uh, than possibly not being able to use it, you know what I mean? Nice. 
nice. Actually, in this case, depending on things, ah, broke the combo. I was about to say, depending on how things go, sometimes I'd rather prefer not um, finish them off instantly, just in case if I can get a decent combo going, so I can get extra orbs, you know. But no, nah. the combo meter is not like uh, not like in like Devil May Cry, where it, it'll last a while. Well, maybe not a lot. While wow. it'll last a hot minute before it disappears, but in this game, it, it like almost instant disappears as soon as you hit a certain point. So, all right, time to make our way in. Yeah, since we can't go, so actually, before we, I'll go ahead. Oh, huh? don't really need that, do I? Yeah, I'll grab it anyway. Why not? Just in case. Perhaps there was a little sliver of health I missed. I don't know. Because we won't be going back this way, so. Alright. Here we go. What the? Oh, now you spawn afterwards? What the? Oh, it's because of this thing. Yeah, it's showing us it's showing us the uh, this mechanic. <laughs> so many different ways to kill people. It's so entertaining. And he does. Yeah, he can't actually use his blade. So. Oh, ouch. Yeah, I have to kind of get moving just. To Luckily, it doesn't take too many attacks. Uh, you'd think it would just take one, but, you know, game mechanics and all that fun stuff. So. Then, yeah, might as well get all the red orbs we can. Otherwise, you know, when we reach the end of the game and you haven't upgraded all your stuff, you're going to be you're gonna be very sad. All right. All right almost there. Want that little bit of extra orb, though. That's three orbs, man. Actually, it's more than three orbs. I forgot what the what it is per orb, like small orbs and big orbs, like how much it is. But it's always weird when it goes from like epic music to like ah calm. Oh, whoops. Well, I guess I could have jumped down. I guess. Someone wants in. And there's the door if we need to go back for some reason. You know, for obvious reasons. Actually, what? Uh, wasn't there like a thing I could... No. Something's behind the door, but it seems to be reinforced. There must be another way to break it. Yeah, we just go back to the, to the thing again because we couldn't break down that door, so we have to shoot it again. All right, and luckily, yeah, it's... And if you want to save, you can, which I probably will, so... More, more Minotaurs. Well, you know what this calls for. And uh, one dead? I mean, you could fight them if you want to. And makes sense, but... Yeah, why not? Let's use, utilize the power of, of mankind and ingenuity. Too bad the orbs don't immediately come towards you. I'd say, yeah, the only problem with doing that is, yeah, you do lose out on some orbs if you do the that method. I mean, I guess if you were a little bit closer, you know. Then, eh, might as well get this healing thing since we're going to have to move on anyway, so... So yeah, maybe I should have fought them. Oh well. Like I said, I'm not I'm not too worried about maxing out all my abilities. There's there's certain ones I care more to do than others, so. Cause yeah, unfortunately because I wasn't close enough, you do lose out on those uh or, or orbs. And then yeah, then we connect to this part here, so. I should we see what was uh 
Probably should have done the up path first, just to see. But yeah, that finally connects us. We've gone around full circle. Took us an hour to get to this part. Woo! No, it's fine. It, I mean, it's, I played Dark Souls, and I like that, so why not? So. How are we doing? Oh, yeah, we got enough for Blades of Chaos level 2, so let's do that. Power up! All right, now we get level three. We get the Cyclones of Chaos and the Spirit of Hercules as well. So, very nice. And Hades Revenge. Uh, well, in Hades uh, Reverse, so which is a parry pose, which is when you do the R, or when you do the block and push, that type of thing. So, hmm. Yeah, there's the Hercules thing, so... Yeah, oh, there's that one ability. I forgot to show off the uh, the shove ability and everything like that, so. But anyway. All right. Hmm. Oh, can I, oh, I was about to say, can I actually destroy this? I was like, oh, yeah, I can. Anything that can be destroyed will be destroyed. That's the rule of Kratos, my friend. Do not fear, Kratos. I am the Oracle of Athens, here to help you defeat Ares. Find my temple to the east, and I will show you how to murder a god. A very nice god. She even showed off a bit of her uh, tracks of land. But anyway, now we finally find ourselves to the road of Athens. What awaits us? Is it a, a glorious banquet ceremony? Will the oracle really tell us how to defeat a god? Can Kratos, you know, like, get some good food around here? We'll find out next time in the next episode of God of War, the PS2 version. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time.